morning everyone it's Saturday morning first of October what a difference a day makes yesterday was lashing down rain when I went to uh, Waterford and my uh, my little hitchhiking uh, challenge which was very successful if you haven't seen that please follow the links below to the Waterford uh, day of adventure today I'm uh, going to take the bus not gonna hitchhike today um, not that it wouldn't be successful, but I just wanted to take the bus down to a town uh, that's about half an hour away from us. I'll show the uh, the link of the uh, the route I'm taking above, and we're going to go to New Ross. New Ross is a, a historic town. It's the the home place of the Kennedy family from the John F. Kennedy and all that. There's a lot of history in the area. Um, there's the Dombrody famine ship and we're going to take a look, walk around the village, see what it has to offer. So stay with me and see what we get up to. So on the bus, but the radio's playing, so I'll probably have to uh, blank out the sound on this, but I'm just going to show you the, uh, the landscape while we drive on the bus heading towards New Ross. All right, so just got off Wexford bus. Here it is. Quickly, we'll take a walk around the town, see what kind of things there are. We'll start off here. There's some Kennedy Kennedy uh, monument thing. So we'll start there. It's right on the waterfront. If you look to the left there, you see the Brody uh, famine ship. This is the bridge from New Ross. And then this is the town in front of us. So we're going to walk around the streets. There's a park that we came in. We passed. We'll go up there. Take a look. So you got the European Union flag. We have the uh, American tricolor. The four provinces of Ireland and then the Wexford colors. Okay, so... Kennedy's that went away. Presented uh, June 27th, 1963. There's a few of his sayings of John F. Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And then your man here. You get to shake his hand. You want to shake his hand there, see? Good job. <laughs> Here's a thumbnail, maybe. See that? So this is us right on the key, and it's in good nick, actually. Last time I was here years ago, but they've done some work into the uh, the town. Cross over here. So the bus is still there, taking one people going to Waterford. That was the same bus route that we would take on the way home yesterday. Walk up, go up this side street there. We'll see where. Oh, that sun is hard on the ice. Oh, let's go this way. Look at this. There's a painting on the wall. I wonder where that goes. I'm just getting out of the sun, actually. That sun was right in my eyes. Probably didn't help. Kyo August Crack. 
Greg. There's a Viking. Oh, very nice. Very nice murals, hey, home. It's like a Thanksgiving theme. And then you have. Oh, so there's the Greg. Looks like it's closed. Cook's Lane, the Norman Way. Let's go up here. And you got some family uh, crests here. Purcell, Clear, Baron, Morrissey, Redmond, Lambert, French, Power, Keating, Crosby, Senate, Walsh, Hayes, Condren, Rutchford, Furlong, Forstall, Grace, Fitzhenry, Aylward, Hayden, Fitzgerald, Butler, Neville, Skinner, Cullen, Alton, Laughlin, Roth, Lacey. Very interesting. And then you're at a little convenience store. Nugent's News Agency. Hey, Lotto here. Maybe we'll get a lotto later. And I can show you the winning numbers. Maybe we try that. So, here's a vape shot. They're everywhere. Don't understand what's so big with these vapes. Okay. Then you have a nice big statue here. There's the plaque, 1798. And then, a couple of shops along this way. There's a nice big mural of a deer up ahead. We'll take a walk and see what's there. Now it's uh, half nine, so a lot of these shops aren't open yet. King's Court Restaurant. I believe they open up around ten, usually. An Irish thing, like you don't even Wexford Town doesn't really open up till after 10 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this uh, mural here, and then we'll head back back down. Here's a, the high hill. Wow, it's really nice. Obviously they're working on it so you have no access to it. And then there's the mural at the here. That's very nice actually. See the church in the background? And then all the, the shrubs and the trees and the bushes and flowers. Very nice. Let's go down this way here, see what we see here. It continues on that way too, but I wanted to see this old. Okay, here's Brown's photography. The treasury. Look at all. Office supplies. Joe Bailey. But look at that building, that's a nice one. New Ross Commercial Club. And then it has like a. 
coat of arms in front. New Ross Auto Factors. Look at that old sign. John Murphy, Salmon Exporter. <laughs> Here's a building that's covered with leaves and vines. Okay. We'll take a look. We'll go up here. There's a dental surgery. This is on the other side of the bridge. We were on the other side before. restaurant. It's all part of the Norman Way here. Like I said, Norman Way is located all over the south, southeast. It goes to Waterford too and just explains their journey into Ireland. The galley cruising restaurants. For bookings. It's interesting. So yeah, I take it you could have a meal while it goes up and down. But it looks like it's pretty anchored. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like it's working right now. It's pretty out of sorts. So we're gonna go down here and we'll go up the street and then try to the right hand side. We'll head over towards the, the little green area of the park. Looks really interesting. So, taste the china. Jade's Garden. T. Bradley. P.J. Roach. There's nothing like a Guinness. And uh, let's go up here. Key Barbers, New Ross Standard. So there's a lot of little shops. The cracked Teapot, Vegetarian and Vegan Cafe. Whew. Take a look at that. See when it is open. Uh, breakfast served from 9 to 11.45. I doubt that. Here we go. Saturdays, 9 to 5.30. Well, it's 9.30, so. Correct. Oh, it's on annual holiday from the 25th of September to the 5th of October. Oh, well. No luck. St. Vincent's the Pauls. That's nice, little James Byrne. What is that? Well, I guess that's a public house. Mr. H. Menswear. Looks like a nice clothes in there. There's a nice building there at the top. Clock Tower. The American, the Wexford, and the Tricolors. Okay, we'll go up here. We came down this way here before. So we got, oh, here's a nice mural on the wall up here. So far, uh, we've seen a lot of murals popping up in a lot of the towns and villages that we've seen. Wexford's got to do something with that. I know they're doing one on uh, Henrietta Street. It's being made. So maybe it's something that they are going to work on. 
you know, adds a little color to the, uh, the side of the buildings and that. Little cafe. We'll cross over. There's a nice old wall. We'll take a look at that there. Very nice mural. Hardware store. Hair salon. Hillies. The village kebab. Closed for business. is up here. There's the green door, whatever that is. Oh, look at this. Stairs that go up to the church, you see. In the Ross House, B and B. Kingdom Hall of Jehovah Witnesses. There's a nice old building there. A couple of dogs. We'll make our way up to that chapel or church there. New Ross Workmen's Club. 1899. Wow. Billiard and Snooker Hall. Part of the Wexford, I haven't really explored much. Been through it a few times, but never really walked around it, so I'm glad I'm taking this opportunity. Church Street. If you go that way. The Maiden Gate up here. I don't know. We'll take a walk up here, and if not, we'll go back. There's some more murals, but not really the standard that we've come to appreciate. The furniture place, I guess. Old Tom Murphy's. So it's definitely some interesting uh, features here. Like I said, I haven't really explored it by myself very much, so thank God for YouTube and, you know, getting me out there. Opening up my horizons and then sharing it with everyone that's watching. Shows you a little bit of Wexford and the, what New Ross has to offer. We are now leaving the old walled town of New Ross. So there's the old wall. Mount Caramel. I wonder where that is. Ring Road. Eighteen seventeen, Mount Caramel. Halton Hospital. Wow. 1809. And there's the chapel there, so I wonder if we can go down here and turn left without having to go back. We'll take a look. There's not much happening around here. It's quiet. It's a residential area. You got some old, the old buildings are probably circa 150 years old. 
with some new ones opposite. Here's a little mural, a bike van, 1798. New Ross Pigeon Club. Okay. And there we go, look at this. Old cannon. This is part of the old wall, I guess. The Maiden Gate. Hmm. And there you can see the whole countryside in the background. walk down here I think this will lead back to the church you can see the church there so basically we've done a full circle it's quite clean you know even the little residential area and that's well kept I haven't noticed any rubbish around and Friary. This is a nice little old. Those are tiny. It's a pleasant walk though. You know, it's a little bit of a hill coming up and then now, but it's not too much. Little green area. Nicely, nice the way it's designed there with the little couple of homes around. And there's a church there. So maybe, here we go. I see a sign St. Mary's Church, the Maiden Gate. Okay. Onwards, James. Get away with that because my middle name is James. So remember, uh, if you're watching this, please make sure you like, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button so to be notified of my my vlogs that come up. It really helps me. This is part of the uh, Norman Way. This uh, it's a medieval parish. Let's see if we can get in here. Wow, it's pretty nice. Take a walk around. cracks there. Goes way up. Those are big doors. St. Mary's Church. Anglican Church of Ireland. Take a walk around the side. Hmm. There's some lights there. Look good at night time, eh? It was remodeled around the 1400s. Let's go up and see. Take a look inside it. it. A 
And there's another church there. So we'll go to that one next. Oh wow. It goes in some sort of underneath the church. Cool. Very neat. Big graveyard too. Goes on. So there's the wall we came up. See the old furniture Tom's Murphy's uh, furniture? So that was on the other side of this wall. Those graves there look new, newish. Uh, 2012, 97, 19, 2000. So we'll That's where we looked in from before. Very interesting. It's definitely worth the walk up here. who died at Prince George, B.C., Canada, 27th October, 1918. Hmm. Some Canadian connection there. Very nice. Very peaceful. It's funny, the church is basically in the middle, surrounded all sides of the graveyard. Usually graveyards are the side or back or separate to the church or chapels, and whereas this one's all are surrounded by it. Ooh. I wonder if any bones are sticking out there. So now we'll make our way down. Definitely interesting. Highly recommended. Very progressive. Okay. Let's go down this way. Because that's the way we would have came up before. We'll follow this pathway. And you can see the water so you can reorientate yourself if you're not sure where you are. But it's a small enough small enough town that you can't get really lost. It's a nice little garden here. There's a nice little milling wheel, I think. For milling flour. Or corn or grain or St. Augustine in church. You have a good view of the other side of the water, being at a higher level. The 
doesn't look open, but... And then we'll walk down here. And oh, this is where, remember we were walking at the bottom? Where they were cleaning up. So this is what... Alaska, look at that. That's lovely. It's too bad it's not opened up for us. Now we get around by the side, but... Really nice to uh, be able to walk see the whole thing but you get a good view of the the townland surrounding it on the other side of the water so what we'll do is when we get to the bottom of here we'll turn left again and then we'll go on the other side and then we'll head towards the park area and then we'll finish off around the Dumbrody uh, famine ship I see something that entices me. Uh, maybe get a cup of tea or coffee or or something. Not really hungry right now, but wouldn't mind a, a cup of coffee. And there's the, uh, the mural on the other side again. I wonder if it's just cleaning it up or you know, open it up later. But these things, the scaffolding looks like it's been there for a while. So I think they're still constructing it. And then we're back down this way. And there's that building again. There's the statue for the 1798. mural on that wall there. I didn't see that. Did we go that way? I know we've been this way. We must have been that way as well. Let's go up this side. Yeah, we're walking up there. We'll head down this way. There's Legend Barbers. There's the little lane that has all the uh, coat of arms. Yeah, so uh, here's a nice little main street. There's the restaurant here. Take away coffee. There's a restaurant across the road. Campbell's Nursery. Well, it has a bit of everything actually. I was looking at getting a hat. Can't seem to find my pea cat. Let's see, maybe come back there. Help me on a hat hunt. O'Brien's. There's a nice pub. Nice display in the front, anyways. And there's O'Brien's. Bailey picture gallery jewelry store permanent TSB I'll take out a bit of cash okay so just went to the ATM took out some funds so we can look around and see if I can find a place to have a coffee. I'm looking for something different. We had a few places that had coffee, but there's like a toy store, kitties. There's a nice little, there's a mural. Let's see if I can get back a bit. City. They're just opening up. 
the theater tavern. What's this old uh, St. Michael's Theater? Interesting. And there's the credit union. New Ross Credit Union. St. Michael's Theater. Nice old uh, walk around the town. Gadget repair. Oh, there's a nice church up there too. Trawler's Catch seafood place. And then there's very colorful uh, buildings. They're all different paints. It goes right up to the waterfront. Let's go up here. Take a walk up to the church. Get a closer look at it. these florists. Oh, yeah. That's a nice little forest. Halloween decorations too and very nice. I like the design out front. Looks like there's Funeral going on. There's the, the church. There's the Legion of Mary Hall. Get a look at the church and then we'll come back down. Parish of St. Mary's and St. Michael. stonework decorated especially in the front Virgin Mary. There's the cross of Jesus. There's the bell tower. There's a gate on the way out. So we'll go out this way and then we'll go down the hill. And we're heading our way towards that park I had mentioned. We've seen it on the way in on the bus. We should be fairly close to it, I would imagine. Nice little homes. Like I said, they're well kept for the most part, you know. I know there's some work being done there and that, but well, that one's a little bit falling away, but little sign. People need to live here. Yeah. There's far too many uh, vacant properties in Ireland. I think the last count it was over 250,000, which is scandalous. There's an old building there. Looks like an old church of some sort. A daybreak a convenience store right in front of us. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. The bumblebee. Yeah, so that's not been used for a while. I don't know what it was. Comment below if you know what it was. Looks like some sort of church. And then go ahead down here and then take a right, go down to the water again. Nice house. Well kept. Yeah, so we head down here to the water and then we'll go to the left and that should bring us right to the the beginning of the park. It's not too far anyways, it's now New Ross is a fairly large little town. It, Last population, I think it was over 8,000 people. Um, we've walked around the main city center, city, uh, the town part of it, uh, but it does go farther in. There's a, a big uh, secondary school called Good Council, and the way in, you turn right there by there. There's also um, a pool around there, and Tesco's, and the GA pitches down the road away, so it goes quite far out. It's not just located in this area so but this I wanted to show you the old part of the town now obviously New Ross is a new it's called New Ross but there was an old Ross too the original Ross and that's about 10 kilometers outside it's not even close to where we are now these are just apartments and then there's the uh, the road where the bus came in on and then we'll catch our bearings from there and I think it's the park will be just to our left and then we'll walk around the park and then head towards the Dembrody ship we'll take a look at the outside of it and see what it has to offer for you is. if you're ever in Wexford come down to uh, to New Ross for a little tri trip around also uh, you can also when you're in the area there's you can go see the homestead of the Kennedys and the uh, John F. Kennedy Arboretum it's basically a walled in or tr uh, fenced in area it's all uh, woodlands and stuff and you go for a nice walk, it's past, it's really lovely. It's about, I'd say it's a good 10-15 minutes from here, heading towards Camp Isle. So here's a Lido here. Between Lido and Dowdy, they help bring down the price of food. There's a butcher's best. There's houses all in the background. And then the park is just up ahead. You can see the green area open up. We'll head there. It's, it's a little bit windy right now, but it's warm. It's nice. It's a nice, comfortable day. As you can see today, I have on me a short sleeve shirt and a little jewet. So that part's not too bad. Yeah, there's lots of boats. And these are people bringing groceries onto their boat, I'd say. Heading out for a trip on the water. And here is the start of the park. So you can see here there's a tennis court and the basketball nets. We'll walk up and see. There's a statue here, looks like a harp with a wreath on it. It's Welcome to Pierce Park. Tree of Hope. 
World Suicide Prevention Day 2016. Definitely there's a major problem in Ireland for uh, suicides. I know quite a lot of people have taken their lives. Okay. Presented the town in Ross in memory of General Brown Clayton and his wife Henriette by their daughter Eleanor Dobney. 1886. So, it's a long time ago. Kids are playing basketball in the tennis and the basketball court. And then there's tennis going on. We walk, there's a little garden here. There's a pikeman statue over there. We'll take a look at it. Yeah, we'll see what this is. Oh, here's. Let's see what this is. Looks like the proclamation. I've seen one in Waterford yesterday. A big bronze one. This one's in marble. Public Maherin, the provisional government of the Irish Republic to the people of Ireland. And you have the seven signatories. Thomas Clark, Sean McDermott, Thomas McDonough, Roderick Pierce, which the park is named after Eamon Kent, James Connolly, and Joseph Plunkett. So it's a little, pretty well, like I said, so far I've seen when I was walking around all of Ross, it's the condition it's in. It's actually very, very well preserved. Here's your man. Here's your man with the pike. Let's see. Yeah, so, like I said, there's the bike and there's where you are in this. And then there's a green area that goes out around. There's a little gym area over there for kids, you know, the playground and I think it has some exercise equipment. And lots of benches and it's very well kept. Here's some washrooms. And showers and toilets and changing rooms. Hmm. Yeah. And then there's a walk path. It goes a circular walk path. So if you want to exercise, you come here, you do your uh, do your laps. Like I said, there's the, the gym. It's a one of those static gyms for outdoors. Very nice. Healthy Wexford. Good recommendation. Stay fit. Keep your physical fitness and your mental fitness. Two very important parts. Can't have one without it, needing the other. There's no sense being in good shape mentally or not physically and vice versa, you know. But yeah, it's a nice little park and it's like right on the outskirts of uh, the, the town as you're coming in. Hello, back again. Just to let you know, I was walking by the uh, the waterfront and I noticed a guy loading up a cruise ship. Uh, it's called the Barrow Princess Cruise Ship. So you can uh, check it out. It's uh, barrowprincess.ie and they have sailings that they go from New Ross to Waterford and then back. And they have, we're holding up fall food and drinks and stuff, so I, I think you can get fed and that. So it's another uh, possibility if you want to come into Ross. And then it links in what we had explored yesterday when I went to Waterford. So it's definitely an option if you're in the area. Maybe if the weather's not as great as it's nice today, but if it was a little bit inclement, you can always take it inside there and be on this cruise ship and head down to Waterford and then back on the same day. So now I'm just walking up towards the Dombrody famine ship experience. And then there's the eternal flame. Take a look at that. So that's going all the time. It was lit on the 20th 2nd of June, 2013. 
and there we have another mural on the side of the wall there. Looks like a picture of a woman embracing the chapel. And there's the uh, Ambrodi Nuras ship. You can see they're having a tour as they speak. And it has some names there, so I'll go in and see what the cost was for it for you. We'll go in this way. So this is the way you come out if you're finishing the tour, I'd guess. Let's go in and see and we'll ask them about it. And I know they serve coffees here and that, so maybe we'll see upstairs. So there's all the flags from before. And then there's a cafeteria upstairs. Alrighty, so I just stopped by, um, just right outside the, uh, the famine ship right here. You can see that people are taking the cruise. I'll post up above what the, uh, the cost is for the cruise, uh, for the tour. Um, and I uh, just decided to take a Coke Zero for the refreshing and my ever popular soy latte. So, thanks for uh, staying along the, the tour. I'm going to be finishing off this and heading back. So, please make sure you uh, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and to like my channel. Thanks again for staying with me.